I'm going to show you how you can make a very simple homemade device to show that mobile phones generate radio waves. Our modern mobile phones are technological wonders. We've got a powerful computer built in, we've got memory, this one's got a little camera built in as well, there's a high performance battery, but crucially there's actually a very high performance transmitter and receiver built into the mobile phone. It uses radio waves, without that it wouldn't be mobile. Now if you look at the mobiles from 2000, this is quite an old one now, you can see that the antenna is actually on the top of the, of the case here. And then after that they started building the antenna actually in the case of the uh, mobile phone. This one I think is from 2003, a little bit smaller. And this one's from 2006 and you can see that they're shrinking down in size. But the key thing about a mobile phone, the thing that makes it mobile, is that it uses radio waves. So what are radio waves? Radio waves are part of what's called the electromagnetic spectrum. Waves of energy made of electric and magnetic fields. In fact, there's a whole spectrum of these waves, starting at radio waves, going into the infrared, going into the visible, the ultraviolet, X-rays and cosmic rays. All these things are the same thing, electromagnetic radiation. Now it turns out there are three things that are important to waves. There's the wavelength, the frequency and the velocity. So you imagine a water wave on the ocean. If you put a football down on the ocean, as a wave goes past, the football will bob up and down. The frequency is how many times that football bobs up and down a second. The wavelength is the different distance between two peaks of a wave. And the velocity, of course, is the speed at which it goes past. Now for radio waves, you get a very simple formula, actually, that the wavelength is given by the speed divided by the frequency, which approximates to the wavelength in meters is 300 divided by the frequency in megahertz. So this is our little device that's going to pick up the radio waves from the mobile phone. And it's very, very simple. What we've got is a loop of wire, we've got an LED light, and a component called a germanium diode. So I've just soldered these all together to form a little circuit. And what happens is when radio waves pass through the loop, the loop acts as an antenna and converts the radio wave into a voltage and that voltage is high enough to light the little LED. So we're going to show that we're making radio waves with our mobile phone when the LED lights. So I put that on the ground and I dial a number on my mobile phone. It might be worth setting it to GSM network rather than the 3G network. Um, slightly higher power. I'm going to dial my voicemail because that's free. I'm going to, as I dial I'm going to put it near to the loop and you can see the LED lights. So what we're doing is we're converting the radio waves generated by the mobile phone, the loop's picking it up like an antenna, and the LED is lighting showing that we're creating radio waves. Now the transfer of energy from the radio waves from a mobile phone into the loop antenna is usually most efficient when the length of the loop is a whole wavelength in size. So I tried different loops just by using different bits of wire and I found this one gave the brightest light. So this is probably one wavelength all the way round. And actually if you measure it, it comes out at about 30 centimetres all the way round. And using our little formula that we discussed earlier, that gives us a frequency of about a thousand megahertz, one gigahertz. So using this very simple apparatus, we can get an estimate for the frequency of the radio waves from our mobile phone, about a thousand megahertz, one gigahertz. 